What's up guys, DK here. For the past few weeks, Ontario has settled into stage two. And as of last week, some parts of the province were allowed to reopen most of the businesses as part of stage three. Well, today, even more places will be allowed to reopen, including areas of the GTA. We're heading to a couple of restaurants now to see how they've prepared for dining service. Stage three hasn't, wasn't really the big effect to me actually, it was more about stage two. Because once we got into stage two, we knew we could do patio dining. And at that point, we were already ready to go with floor plans. We made sure we designed everything, implemented everything. Staff were reached out to, letting them know that we are still open. Stage three, however, we're actually only opening at 25% occupancy indoors. What I've seen in Alberta, BC, Montreal, is that there's a huge rise in COVID cases, especially in our youth. And I'm trying to make sure that that doesn't happen. You know, my staff are my everything. And the last thing I want to do is for me to get infected or someone else get infected, where I put them all at risk. So I'm, I'm waiting to make sure that it's the right thing to do to properly increase to 50%. Now over here, in one of Markham's most popular dining restaurants, Smash Kitchen, they've actually done quite a bit of social distancing procedures. For example, they've removed a lot of the tables from the dining area so that the tables are actually distanced far away from each other and the floors have a lot of social distancing reminder stickers. Not only that, you see lots of hand sanitizing stations everywhere in the restaurant. And finally, patrons are actually requested and recommended to order not from a physical menu, but instead from their cell phones. They're implementing a virtual menu and then they will just have to put that order in through to a server. Some other restaurants, like this popular dim sum restaurant in Richmond Hill, use seafood opt for a slightly different approach. Yes, you do see the social distancing stickers, but on top of that, they've also got a device where you come in and you sign in and you register yourself so you know exactly how long you have to wait. They also have an ultra fancy security system which not only checks whether you are wearing your mask or not, but it would also check for your temperature. In addition, in the dining areas themselves, tables are properly distanced, with plexiglass barriers. 